Hey guys, welcome to episode 150 of the Cat Lady Podcast. My name is Andrea, also known as the Cat Lady. That's two T's, C-E-T-T, -T, which stands for craft all the things. Sorry, not the greatest angle we're going at right now, but eh, it's okay. I didn't feel like going upstairs. Devo is right there outside of the camera looking at me funny. He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh... For anyone new, my name is Andrea, and I am a fibery goodness podcast, uh, but also do lots of other things, and I have two cats, and I have uh, two kids. <laughs> it's a really old picture. Eh, I like trying to point. It's like a fun mind game. <laughs> Anyways, husband, two kids, two cats, and that's me. Uh, I have finished something, if you can't tell. Uh, last I recorded, I showed you I was working on a messy bun hat, and guess what? I finished. I just been. I just wove in the ends to this morning. Hey, it's me. I forgot to tell you the name of the hat and the yarn. So uh, it is the Little Knot Messy Bun Hat by um, oh, Little Knot Messy Bun Hat by North R Rough Bark Knits. Everything is updated on Ravelry, uh, or you can message me, or I try to put it below. So that is the pattern, Little Knot Messy Button Hat, free pattern. Also, the yarn is Lion Brand Hometown USA in Salem Creek. And for the uh, Did I Use More Yarn Saga, I did not. I, I had this much left of my yarn. So now I have a whole skein left or of this. So I'm going to make some boot cuffs. I think that would be cute and I'm gonna try to maybe do this patterning on the boot cuffs. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna start them now or not but I have some other things in mind I want to work on too. So uh, that's it. That's it. So my format is record snippets through the week post on Fridays. So it is Tuesday. I've already missed a day. Yesterday was a bad day. Every day has been like a bad day. I don't know what it is. I know. I do know what it is. It's the weather. It's the pandemic. It's our society at large is just, it's just, uh, just day after day of just terrible things. I really need to go out and just actively search for positive things because I feel like anytime I go on social media, anytime I go onto the news, anytime I go anywhere, it's just all, oh, he was going to knock over my camera. <laughs> it's all bad things. And I'm tired of bad things. So... It's a new month. It's February 1st. It's a new moon, which means like just uh, kind of starting fresh, right? Seriously, my cat's going to knock over my camera. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to kind of start that mantra. We're going to start fresh. Fresh month. Uh, a big snowstorm's coming, <laughs> so the kids might be home for the next couple days. <laughs> I don't know if that's off to a good start or not, but that's okay. In other news, I... My friend Amy, Happy Little Yarn, uh, sent me a present. So this was my Christmas present. She sent it a little late. I told her it's fine because I did not have presents for anyone this year. And I feel bad when people send me stuff and I don't send them things back. So eventually I'll send her something. Uh, but she's made me a bag. Look at that bag. Oh my gosh. Look at that bag. That is an amazing bag. It's got a little tag on there. Really cool. It's like sparkly. Oh, she, she knows me so well. It's like iridescent tea. It's leopard cat themed. And then these adorable little cat stitch markers. <laughs> Aren't those so cute? They're like little hanging, hanging cats. I'll flip backwards though. <laughs> so, so, so adorable. <gasps> so little cats hanging off my knitting. How cute. All different colors. I love them. Stitch markers by Tecoro. Can't say I've heard of that brand, but that is so darn cute. So, uh, so that's that. But she also is having a giant D stash. If you go to Happy Little, first go to if you follow Happy Little Yarn. Uh, you can she she links to her D stash account, which I think is just Happy Little Yarn underscore D stash. If I remember, I'll try to put it below. She still has things available, and she's got lots of good yarn. Like I'm thinking, well, should I do a D stash sometime? No, I got. Not good yarn. Not like her. She's got like all this like really like sweater quantities and like big name brands and stuff. I 
don't. I have lots of weird yarn. I collect, I am a weird collector. I'm a collector of weird yarn, I guess. I don't know. But I got, so I bought some D-Stash from her. Uh, I love single ply. I don't know why. I don't know, maybe because it's like extra soft and I don't know, it's fuzzy and I just love single ply. And so she had listed this, a Madeline Tosh, Tosh Light, Tosh Merino Light. Uh, this is Candlewick. She had listed this one. I'm like, oh, that's pretty. But I don't want just one. I want to make it like a shawl, maybe like a striped shawl or something. So I, I messaged her and I said, hey, do you have any other Tosh, Tosh Light that you're de-stashing that would go with this yellow? And so, of course, this is the perfect combo, this mustard and gray. This is like the a great combo. And this is one of, a, oh, this is a one of a kind color, but it's gray. So I, this will have some kind of striped, I'm thinking well, big stripes, a two color shawl, just big stripes. So I need to find something, maybe even just a garter, garter shawl with stripes. I don't know. So I need to find a pattern. If you know any patterns that could be fun for this two colors, a large triangular or asymmetrical, it's like maybe, oh, circular. That would be nice, like a large circular shawl, or like half circle with uh, stripes. I think that would be nice. Then, and I have something else coming too, because she keeps posting, and actually I had missed something that I should have, it should have came with all this because I just missed it, but she posted this, and this is amazing. This is Inked Sheep Fibers in Night Fury. Basic sheep. Oh, this. Oh, this was the DK socks. So this is gonna be socks because I think it would be fun to make a pair of DK socks uh, because they're nice and cozy. My feet are always cold. So this is 75, 25 merino nylon DK. So I think I'm going to do some DK socks and look how pretty this is. I love it. So. In other news, I do have a business, but uh, I am failing miserably as a business owner. So. Stay tuned. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just, I'm in such a funky funk that uh, everything is just taking a back seat. So um, I still have yarn for sale in the shop, www.thecatlady.com, but it's all past stuff. It's all stuff that's been there for a while. So if you haven't looked, go look and see if there's anything fun you like. If you've been there, it's all the same. I'm sorry. So I don't know what I'm doing. So stay tuned for that. I'm not... I'm not giving up, but I don't know, maybe I'm taking a break. So it is what it is. So I'm not giving myself too much grief over it. So this bag, that's a handle. So cool. So that is all I have for today. And I have some things brewing in the brain uh, that I will, I will want to cast on. So if I get those going, I will pop in a share. Hey guys, it is. Thursday. It's snow day part two, so hence why I didn't say anything yesterday. Uh, so popped in Tuesday to start and I'm still wearing my messy bun hat because it's my favorite hat because my hair is a mess and this just works so well. So I think I need to make a couple more of these even though I said I need to stop making hats but these are hats with purpose, right? So uh, I kind of can't remember the last Oh shoot, I forgot something. All right, I'll have to come back. I always forget something. So, uh, the joy of editing at least. So. so the kids are home, they're being loud downstairs, but uh, overall they've been pretty good. So on Tuesday, it was like, all the snow's coming, all the snow's coming, and it's, it did snow, but it didn't snow that much here. They canceled school on Wednesday. They probably could have went. It was kind of starting to build up Wednesday, later Wednesday. So I feel like maybe they could have went. But on Tuesday, I'm like, Oh, I really wanted to get this thing, and I called my old local yarn store, Heritage Spinning and Weaving, and they had it. So I went and got it. Mm -hmm. It is a Zoom Loom. So, shameless plug for my Discord. I have a Discord server. Uh, it's The link is in the description. And a lot of us just hang out and chat and talk about our crafts and talk about life and all those other things. And one of the members got a zoom loom and I had seen these and thought about these before and they look fun and um, she started making little squares I'm like oh you know I really want one so my store the yarn store had one so I got one so I haven't done much but I made two squares and I made two color square two two color usually you just do one color and you just keep it continuously but I did a two color version so there is a black and like mustard gold one and then a gold and 
black one. So same yarns, just opposite weaving methods. Oh, my cat's come cat's coming in. Never want to be allowed. <sighs> so so yesterday I played Minecraft for four hours with the kids and made two squares. And today we played Minecraft again. That seems to be our family hobby now is playing Minecraft. Uh, oh, here's the Zoom Loom. It's by Shot. And you can get them online on, or some of your local yarn stores. I've not done anything else. I haven't started to skirt. Oh, I did do a sample, which I said I had something in the brain. I wanted to make a... I, have the, I don't think I have the paper. I wanted to make a cat scarf and it's the crochet cat stitch. If I think about it, I'll put a picture in of the cat stitch, but it's basically a series of crochet rows that creates this little kitty that looks like little ears and it's little paws kind of sitting down and you do it in multiple colors. I was hoping that David would like the cat scarf instead of a dragon because I really don't want to make another dragon, but he really wants a dragon. So I'm going to have to make him a dragon scarf. Jim's on the him and hawing about his scarf. So I haven't started anything with his, but it's probably gonna be two by two rib because that's what his hat is. But I don't know, he's, he feels guilty. He feels guilty because of course, everything's been complicated. He keeps screwing things up. So I'm like, don't make me anything, don't make me anything. So uh, that's where we are with him. Uh, I did find a few patterns. Like basically you just look for patterns that involves a bunch of squares. Um, something I'd like to do is like make a set of placemats. So you like seam together like Maybe eight, eight of these maybe would make a decent size placemat. And then, I don't know, maybe maybe six and then like a bordered edge, something like that. But but it's nice and it's not soft like so weaving is definitely not a soft fabric you get. It's more rustic. I don't know. So something like a placemat. But I'm thinking maybe cotton would be good too because it'd be easier to wash. Uh, I do notice it is a little bit hard to weave in and out towards the ends. It gets a little tight, but I don't know. It's still fun. And I like, uh, like the way it looks. But yeah, so you just would sew a bunch together, but you can make like shawls that you just sew a bunch of the squares together. You can make weird vests and stuff, but I found a few patterns that I wanted to try. Came with a large, the weaving needle, a darning needle, and then two extra pegs. So, so yeah, that'd be fun. So I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I need a project before I start. And if you, this was worsted weight. You can use DK. You can use sport. Obviously just a thinner, it'll be a thinner weave. Or you can double up fingering. So I mean, I wouldn't want to go any thicker than this. You can still kind of see through it a little bit. But um, I feel like this was kind of thick actually. So, uh, so maybe a DK or double fingering. So I have tons of scraps thinking. But I'd like, again, I want like a, purpose. You could make like a bag. And yeah, there was a lot of things like you made a cowl and you like you knit an edge on it. So you you did your squares all seamed together and then you actually picked up and knit around the edging. So that was kind of fun. Um, so I'm, I'm just rambling now. So uh, it's probably it's obviously gonna be a short episode. But I tomorrow I will pop in, close up and I bought one other thing when I was at the yarn store and I will show that tomorrow in the next clip so instead of uh instead of running and getting it so uh I will pop in pop in later hey guys it's Friday February 4th this is the final clip of the week and I have nothing to show for craft crafty stuff um, but as I mentioned in the last clip I had something I forgot to bring down that I was going to show so when I went to the yarn store to pick up my zoom loom they also had a uh, a little rack full of like project bags and notion pouches that were like uh, the independent maker. So Kitty Crawford custom sewing knitting and crochet. So Michigan, just a Michigan maker. Uh, but I had to get it because it was Star Wars. So we got Star Wars comic book kind of fabric and then some like spacey stars on the inside. So that fell into my bag as well. Uh, Cause you know, I love Star Wars and I love pouches. So that's that. Um, today, Emily's school is supporting Oxford with the Oxford Strong shirt. So I ordered us all a shirt. I sent David in his shirt today. And I know, I'm not sure why it's just Emily's 
school that brought it up. I feel like it should have been district wide because I think it has to do with like the Michigan Sports Association was saying today was the Oxford day. So I don't know. So I sent both kids in their shirts and wearing my shirt today. I got Jim a shirt, but he didn't wear it to work because he doesn't wear t-shirts to work. Uh, but yeah, still, I need to wash my hair today. So, mm -hmm. this is my, I'm going to pretend to look cute with dirty hair hat. Yeah. Uh, and I am doing my advent update. Oh, so we're falling behind a little bit and it's all blending together like it normally does. This is nothing new, but I will go through the list of the wines that I last left off. So I will tell you which ones I didn't like because, um, I think I liked all of them actually. Uh, so we have a Cabernet Sauvignon. So that was a red. Um, that was okay. It was pretty good. I, I like white wines better, that's for sure. Uh, the jelly for that day was a sweet orange passion fruit. And that one was pretty good. Next was a rosé. I love a rosé. That is one of my favorites. Rosé. So that was a standard rosé. So the one, the day one was a brute rosé. So it was more of a, a champagne. This was more, this is like it was a sparkling. This was just a regular rosé. With apricot lavender, you could taste the lavender in there. That tasted pretty good. That was fun. The kids haven't been enjoying the jelly as much as me, but that's okay. Uh, day, Saturday, I went to my dad's house, so the bottle I, is left there. But that one was like my favorite. It was called Snowberry, and it was a raspberry. It was, it was basically a raspberry wine. It was so good. It was called Snowberry. I don't think you can get it anywhere because it was like special for this calendar, which sucks because I would totally buy it. Uh, jelly was blueberry, wild blueberry balm leaves. Uh, again, nobody wanted to try it, so it was good. It tastes like blueberry. I don't know what balm leaves are, but uh, next up we had a Chardonnay, which was not memorable. I don't know. I don't think it was bad. Again, nothing was bad. I'm not really, I'm not a wine connoisseur. Strawberry Linden Blossom. No idea what a Linden Blossom is, but it tasted like strawberry jelly. So I'm going to have to have a toast extravaganza with all this jelly left over because I don't want it to go to waste. Uh, next up was a Riesling. Another white. I think it was a little dry. I don't know if I'd do a Riesling. Uh, peach mint spread. You could taste the mint in there. So it was peachy mint. So that was good. I liked these. So I like red blends. Okay, so this was just called Reindeer Red. So this was just, gonna, and so I had a merry red before. This was reindeer red. It was good. It was a red blend. So it was obviously a sweet red blend. So I liked that. And then that day was honey. And it tastes like honey. And everybody loves honey. So we all love the honey. Blend of EU and non-EU honeys. And then I am behind because this was yes, no, Wednesday. This was Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? I just wasn't feeling up to it. Uh, just, I don't know, Wednesday was it. So this was a Merlot, so I don't know. It's a, it's a dark, it's, or it's a red, and I don't know. So I don't know, I will, we'll let you know. Uh, and then jelly, I did, we did eat the jelly. Chelly, cherry elderflower, that was good, it's a cherry. And elderflower, I have elderflower liqueur that I use to make uh, grapefruit martinis, and it's good. So I don't know if I could taste the elderflower in there, but. And then yesterday, we went out to dinner, Went to our favorite Mexican restaurant and I had two Coronas. So when I came home, I'm like, I probably don't want to open my wine. <laughs> so, and we were stuffed. Like, I'm still stuffed today. Uh, so yesterday was a Sauvignon Blanc. So, uh, wait. And we didn't eat the jelly either. And it was apricot mango. So it's probably going to be good. So we will do that tonight, hopefully. I have a funeral to go to tonight or a visitation tonight, funeral tomorrow. It's for a friend's, my friend's uncle. So. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to drink these later tonight and have a little party or what. Uh, with some, I don't know, maybe I'll have my toast and jelly party tonight. We'll see. Because uh, I still have, let's see. I, don't know, so I still have a little bit of lemon yuzu, which was really good. And then the mango peach lime, which everyone was a little undecided, but still I'm going to eat it. So we have lots of jellies uh, and a few bottles of wine, so... And that's it. So we still got open tonight's and all the chocolate again was the same as the chocolate I had last year. So it was nothing crazy. Um, that's been good. And I've taken, I've tried to take pictures every day. I didn't take a picture of the chocolate. I ate the chocolate yesterday. 
we all ate our chocolate yesterday and I just didn't want anything else. So I didn't take a picture of the chocolate yesterday. But again, they were, they were all the same. So. Uh, so this weekend, like I said, I got visitation, funeral, today and tomorrow. Um, we want to play Mario Party as a family this weekend. Um, yeah, that's all we got on the agenda. It's still cold and kind of snowy out. So we will hunker in and probably not go anywhere and play some games, do some crafts. I did pull the yarn out and the hook out to start David's dragon scarf. So I need to start that. So with that, I hope everyone has a great weekend and a great week. And I will come back to you next week. And I hope you get to craft all the things.